Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Elizabeth Reimer and I am the director of Freedom Public Library in New Hampshire. Welcome to Storytime. I really enjoyed seeing your dragon projects from last week. Thank you for sending me pictures. I want to give some shout outs to you. Here's Amelia and Haley. Here are Aria and Adlin. Here's a picture of Ashton, Evan, and Colin with their dragons. Look at this group of dragon makers. Darla, Elsie, Jack, Bo, Bennett, Piper, and Josie. Here's a picture of Tessa. And last but not least, here are Anna and Abby with their mom, Sarah, and their brand new baby brother, Leo. Welcome to the world, Leo. I can't wait to meet you. Ready to sing the story time song with me? Sit down, it's story time, and we are gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright. I like to see you smile. Cause you're all growing up so fast. Let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs. So listen, everyone. Listen, everyone. Nice. Well, today it is summer rain, summer weather, summer story time. <laughs> I don't really have a snappy title for it. Our first book is called Toot and Puddle. You Are My Sunshine by Holly Hobby. Have you ever just kind of felt bummed out and you don't know exactly why? You just feel sort of sad and you don't want to do anything? Well, that's what this story is about. Toot and Puddle, You Are My Sunshine. Pigtail is what the book he's reading is. It was morning in Woodcock Pocket. The sun was shining, birds were singing, blossoms were bursting. Whee! And Toot was moping. When Puddle asked, what's the matter? Toot said, nothing. I've never seen Toot mope, said Tulip. He's always so happy. Everybody mopes sometimes, said Puddle, even Toot. And it's such a beautiful day, Tulip said. The sky is so blue. Oh, it doesn't matter when you're blue, too, Puddle said. Puddle's pretty understanding. The next morning when Toot came into the kitchen, he asked Puddle, How do I look? How do you look? Puddle said. You look the same as ever. My ears are too big, Toot said. Of course they aren't, Puddle said. Your ears are perfect. Do you think my eyes are too small? Toot asked. Puddle looked at his friend's eyes. I don't think so, he said. I feel too pink, Toot said. You can't be too pink. Oh, you're just saying that, said Toot, and he moped out of the room. Mope, mope, mope. Hmm. Just standing there, looking out, feeling sad. That evening, Puddle made five berry cobbler with heaps of whipped cream. I know five berry cobbler is your favorite, he said to his friend. It's delicious, Toot told him. Thank you. Toot's smile popped out for the first time in two days. It worked, Tulip sang the next morning. Hooray for five berry cobbler. <laughs> I think you're right cheered Puddle. He was very relieved. But when Toot came poking across the yard, he didn't look any happier than he had been before. Is Toot still blue? asked Tulip. Maybe he's bored, Puddle declared. What Toot needs is adventure. Oh, what are they going to do for their adventure? That looks exciting. Oh, that was tons of adventure, Tulip said. We never would have dared the rapids without you, Puddle told Toot. Anyone can float down a river, Toot replied. 
he was still moping. So Puddle had another idea. Maybe Toot's feeling lonely. We haven't had company at Woodcock Pocket all summer. Tulip's eyes brightened. There's nothing better than company, she said. Let's invite everyone. Ooh, bubbles. That'll cheer anybody up, I think. Everyone came, Ginny and Otto and Phil. Soon Puddle had everyone singing. You are my sunshine. Do you know that song? You want to sing it with me? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. It's a happy song. Let's play hide and seek, Otto suggested. Come on, Toot. Puddle called, you're it. But Toot said, I'm not in the mood to be it right now. Look, they're all hiding. Oh, hiding in some grass. I think everyone had a wonderful time, Puddle said. Everyone but Toot, said Tulip. Yeah, I sure miss the old Toot, Puddle said. Me too, Tulip said. Sunday morning wasn't sunny. I think something's coming, Puddle said anxiously. I'm afraid you're right, Tulip said. Late that afternoon, lightning crackled, thunder rumbled, and wind lashed Woodcock Pocket with rain. It was the biggest and scariest storm Puddle could remember, and it went on all night. Toot was the only one who didn't seem afraid. In the morning, Pocket Pond was flooded and there were leaves and branches all over the place. But the air felt different, more fresh and exciting, and the world seemed crisp and new. And when Toot came marching across the yard, he was the old Toot. His walk was bouncy, his head was up, and his whole pink face was smiling. Look at that big smile, yay. I'm glad you're not moping anymore, Puddle said. Was I moping? He asked. Uh, just a little, Puddle told him. Sometimes you need a big whopping thunderstorm to clear the air. Yes, said Tulip. Thunderstorms are absolutely necessary. Friends, too, thought Toot. Well, that's a nice thing to do on a summer day. So pigs and rain make me think of this favorite flannel. It's called Five Pigs So Squeaky Clean, and you guys can help me with it. So we're gonna say, in the mud, okay? And landed with a great big thud, and then you go, oink, oink, okay? Can you do it with me? Five pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. Ready? In the mud! One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big, here comes the thud part, ready? Thud. Now there are one, two, three, four pigs squeaky clean. Ready? Oink, oink. Are you going to do it with me? All right. Four pigs so squeaky clean, clean as pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play in the mud. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big, ready, thud. Oh, right on that one's face. Now there are one, two, three, three pigs squeaky clean, oink, oink. Three pigs so squeaky clean, clean as pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play in the mud. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there are two pigs squeaky clean, oink, oink. Two pigs so squeaky clean, clean as pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play in the mud. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there is one pig squeaky clean, oink, oink. One pig so squeaky clean, cleanest pig you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play in the mud.
mud. He jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there are no pigs squeaky clean. Oink, oink. Now they've got five happy pigs that will love to be in the mud. Okay, bye pigs. All right, everybody stand up. It's time to get moving a little bit, all right? Do you like to get out in the rain sometimes? Better not get out there when it's thunder and lightning, but if it's just raining, it's kind of fun to go stomping around in the puddles. Are you ready? We're stomping in the rain. We're stomping in the rain. We can't go yet. We must get wet. We're stomping in the rain. Did you stomp? Okay, ready? Let's clap. We're clapping in the rain, we're clapping in the rain. We can't go yet, we must get wet. We're stop clapping in the rain. All right, now how about hopping? Can you, can you hop on one foot? Can you do it? Can you jump on one foot? That's called hopping. We're hopping in the rain, we're hopping in the rain. We can't go yet, we must get wet. We're hopping in the rain. We're running in the rain, we're running in the rain. We can't go yet, we must get wet. We're running in the rain. How about marching with your legs up, your knees up high? We're marching in the rain, we're marching in the rain. We can't go yet, we must get wet. We're marching in the rain. Yay! Okay, now I gotta go dry off. So now we're gonna do some rain poems, all right? Rain, got your rain fingers? Rain on the green grass. Way down here. Rain on the trees. Rain on the rooftop. See the point on the roof? Rain on the rooftop, but not on me. Got an umbrella? See the curvy umbrella? Not on me. What color is your umbrella? Mine has polka dots. We used to do this one all the time in story time, but sometimes there would be too many people to be able to do it. Now there's nobody here to do it, but I'm going to try it anyway, and you guys can do it at home as well. We're going to do Ring Around the Rosy. I'm going to pretend you're here. Hold your imaginary friends, or maybe you have brothers and sisters and mothers and dads around that can do it. So, ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies, ashes, Ashes, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow eating buttercups. Thunder, lightning. We all stand up. Let's go the other way now. Ready? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow, eating buttercups. Thunder! Ooh, what a storm! Lightning! We all stand up! All right, you got your rain hands again? The rain is falling down. Splash! Okay, can you make a big clap? How loud of a clap can you make? Let's hear it. Ouch! Ready? Try again. That was pretty loud for me. How was yours? All right, the rain is falling down. Splash! The rain is falling down. Splash! Pitter patter, pitter patter. The rain is falling down. Splash! Oh, ouch, my hand is hurting. All right, it's time to sing about you. Have a look. What are you wearing today? Do you have something new on? Do you have an old favorite outfit on right now? This is an old favorite outfit of mine. My beautiful blue dress, blue flower dress, I'll say, okay? Elizabeth's wearing her blue flower dress, her blue flower dress, her blue flower dress. Elizabeth's wearing her blue flower dress all day long. Please take a bow. Yay, Elizabeth! Woo! So really happy to have Tessa here today to Sing about her. Are you ready to do it? Yeah. What are you wearing today? My polka dot shirt. Okay, great. Polka dot shirt. You guys ready to sing? Tess is wearing her polka dot shirt, her polka dot shirt, her polka dot shirt. Tess is wearing her polka dot shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Let's see your bow. Oh, that was it? Okay, yay! 
My next book is called Move Over, Rover, and it's by Karen Beaumont, and it's illustrated by Jane Dyer. Rover's in the doghouse chewing on a bone. What a day to romp and play. Too bad he's all alone. It's a rhyming book. There's Rover. Oh my, look at the sky. Thunder, lightning, mighty frightening. Do you get afraid of thunder and lightning? It can be pretty intense sometimes. Rain is pouring, oh, how boring. Rover's in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Cat is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Move over, Rover. Okay, here comes the cat. Aww. Cat's in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Who's that? Raccoon is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Skit, scat, cat, move over, Rover. Oh, now all three. Who's coming next? Raccoon's in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Squirrel is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Make room, raccoon, skit, scat, cat, Move over, Rover. Where's Squirrel? Shh. Squirrel's in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Who's that? Jay! Jay! Blue Jay's looking all around to find a place that's warm. Squeeze in, Squirrel. Make room, Raccoon. Skit, scat, cat. Move over, Rover. Here comes the Blue Jay. Blue Jay's in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Who's that? Snake is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Out of the way, Blue Jay. Squeeze in, squirrel. Make room, raccoon. Skit, scat, cat. Move over, rover. Snake's in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Mouse. Where's Mouse? There she is. Mouse is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Slide aside, snake. Out of the way, Blue Jay. Squeeze in, squirrel. Make room, raccoon. Skit, scat, cat. Move over, rover. Tight fit might split. Sorry, Mouse. Full house. Mouse can't get in there? Crowded in the doghouse, all are sleeping well. But then, sniff, sniff, they catch a whiff. What's that awful smell? What do you think it is? Skitter, scatter, what's the matter? Scamper, scurry, what's the hurry? There they all go, getting out of the doghouse. They're all running. Skunks in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. The rest are racing round to find another place that's warm. Hmm, skunk got the place all to herself. Oh my, look at the sky. Storm's over. Where's Rover? Romping? Racing? Jumping? Chasing? No! Rover's in the doghouse, chewing on a bone, soaked and sopping, tail flip-flopping, happy he's alone. First he wanted company and then he doesn't. All right, so it's time to do some music. Both of these songs are by Jim Gill. The first one is called Jump Up, Turn Around, and we're going to be doing what he says twice, okay? Simple motions and a simple rhyme. Say it as you play it and repeat two times. Jump up, jump up, turn around, turn around, clap your hands, clap, clap. 
stop. Stamp the ground. Stamp, stamp. Jump up. Jump up. Turn around. Turn around. Clap your hands. Clap, clap. Stamp the ground. Let's play it again, but this time try to say it as you play and stretch your arms up high. Jump up, jump up, turn around, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. Jump up, jump up, turn around, turn around, clap your hands, clap, clap. stamp the ground, stamp, stamp. Let me suggest that this time you might say it as you play it with your eyes closed. Close your tight. eyes. Jump up, jump up, turn around, turn around, clap your hands, clap, stamp the ground, stamp, stamp. I think I'll turn the other up, way. Jump, turn around, turn around, clap your hands, clap, clap, stamp the ground, stamp, stamp. Okay, you can open your eyes again. Oh, there you are. Hi. Get ready, my friends, to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath in a minute. Ready? Because I challenge you to play it as you hold can your you hold breath. Can you hold your breath and do all that? Right, get ready. called sliding. We're going to go sliding, sliding like that. Sliding, rolling. Can you do that? Rolling and some more jumping, okay? So sliding, rolling, and jumping. All right, here we go. Now yesterday was an interesting day. Let me tell you what happened. I woke up in the morning I slid right out of bed. I slid into the bathroom and the comb slid across my head. I slid into the kitchen and I slid into a chair. And when I finished breakfast, I slid right out of there. I slid into my coat and I slid my way to work and then I was slid from task to task and slid back home again. I slid into the kitchen and when I was well fed, I slid into my pajamas and I slid back into bed. Now this morning, things were a little different. I woke up in the morning and I rolled right out of bed. I rolled into the bathroom and the comb rolled across my head. I rolled into the kitchen and I rolled into a chair. And when I finished breakfast, I rolled right out of there. I rolled into my coat and I rolled my way to work and then I was rolled from task to task and rolled back home again. I rolled into the kitchen and when I was well fed, I rolled into my pajamas and I rolled back into bed. Ready to do some jumping? Now tomorrow is a brand new day. So, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll jump right out of bed. I'll jump into the bathroom and the comb will jump across my head. I'll jump into the kitchen and I'll jump into a chair. And when I finish breakfast, I'll jump right out of there. I'll jump into my coat and I'll jump my way to work and then I'll be jumped from task to task, and I'll jump back home again. I'll jump into the kitchen, and when I am well fed, I'll jump into my pajamas, and I'll jump back into bed. This is a book I read every single summer, and it's called Summer. And it's by Alice Lowe and illustrated by Roy McKee. I love this book. We like the things that summer brings. It brings the sun. It brings the heat. It brings the things we like to eat. Another rhyming book. 
Summer brings so many things. We like to ride way out of town. We like to ride uphill and down. It feels so good when we go fast. We like to feel the wind go past. We ride and ride about a mile and then we stop and eat a while. Mm. We like cold things. We eat them up. When, and when we eat, so does our pup. Ooh. We like the things that summer brings. It brings us fireworks late at night. All red and yellow, blue and white. They go up high. They are such fun. <gasps> look, look, there goes another one. Some summer days we take a ride. The car gets very hot inside. Oh. And when we sit in all that heat, we wish that we had used our feet. At last, we are no longer hot. Cold water cools us off a lot. It cools us off down to our toes. Our pup is going to cool his nose. Summer brings so many things. Summer brings us rides on swings. We swing up high into the trees. We swing so fast we make a breeze. Then down we go into some hay. We like to play this game all day. Summer brings us things with wings. We like to catch them with a net and see how many we can get and then let go. In summertime, we say hello to all the fish way down below. They look at us. They seem to say, what kind of fish have come our way? A summer fair, a fair is fun. In summertime, we go to one. Around, around, around we go. The ground is very far below. Uh-oh, somebody let go of their balloon. Summer sun brings garden fun. We have to water well, we know, to make our garden grow and grow. <laughs> you water me, I water you, and that will make us grow fast too. Some summer nights we cook and eat. <laughs> our pup is not so very neat. Mm, what are those called? Marshmallows. We like the things that summer brings. We like to fish with sticks and strings. We sit and sit. We wish and wish that we could catch just one small fish. Good. Some days we catch one 10 feet long and 10 feet fish are big and strong. <laughs> they get away. They take our hook. We never take them home to cook. We like this way to spend a day. We make a sand house on the shore. We make some windows and a door. Then waves come up. They come up fast. Sometimes our sand house doesn't last. But there is lots of sand to dig to make another just as big. When we go out on summer nights, we see the fireflies with their lights. We catch them. They will give us light to find our way back home at night. We ask a farmer, will you stop and let us ride back home on top? Sure, come on. We let the fireflies go away. The moon is out, it lights our way. We hear the horse go clop, clop, clop. Our pup goes fast asleep on top. We stay awake and think of things, the happy things that summer brings. Are you having a happy summer? Speaking of happy summers, doesn't this look like a happy summer thing? This reminds me of the rainbow that we made previously with the rays sticking out. So now you have a cloud with, with colorful rays and you'll have a sun with colorful rays. So what you'll need for this craft is we have a yellow plate or you can have a plain white plate that you can make yellow with a marker or with some paint maybe. 
And we have some face parts for the sun. We have some glue. And we have some colorful pieces of paper. So we're just gonna glue the colorful pieces of paper around the back, put the face on the sun. So I think I'll start with the face. We've got two white eyeballs. And gluing the white part, putting it down, gluing another white part, and putting it down. Now I'm going to put the two blue parts on the sun. There's one. And two. How's that? Okay. Now I had a cute heart nose. Did you notice the heart nose? Okay, so here we go. Heart nose. And I think I'll put it a little bit crooked just for fun. <laughs> okay, and Black mouth with a pink smile. So here's my black part. And then the pink inside the black, like the inside of your mouth. Like that. Hmm, what do you think? All right, so now turn your plate over and We'll glue on the rays. You get to decide what order, what, how you want it to do. You can put them all on. You don't have to put them all on. You may not have the same colors I do. Oh, they're so beautiful. I love these colors, especially this blue. So I'm just gonna put the glue on the ray. I think I'll put this one opposite it. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. So you might want to put this up in your window so everybody can see what a happy little girl or boy you are. I hope you had a great time today at Storytime and that you'll come back next week. Bye for now.